Hello everyone, my name is SCP Gaming. Welcome back to Far Cry 4. Or should I say, not really Far Cry 4, special video. So today, I will be telling you guys the real story behind Far Cry 4. Obviously, there are spoilers, so before we start, you have been warned. <laughs> um, so without further ado, let's just get started. So you are Ajay Gale, or AJ Gill. You have come to Karat uh, to fulfill your mother's dying wish. Your mother, Ishwari Gale, uh, wanted her ashes to be spread with Lakshmana Gale, your half sister. Uh, your stepfather, Mohan Gale, created the Golden Path, a group of terrorist rebels to fight against Pagan Min, the ruler of Karat. Ishwari Gale fell in love with Pagan Min and had an affair with Pagan and had an affair with Pagan Men and had you. Mohan killed Lakshmana at the age of one, so Ashwari killed Mohan in return. Ashwari then took you to the United States and never told you anything about Karat, Pagan Men, or the Golden Path. When she died, you came back to spread her ashes with Lakshmana to fulfill her dying wish, which was for her ashes to be spread. When Pagan Min pulls you off the bus, he knows who you are. He knows exactly who you are. But because your mother never told you anything about him, you have not a clue who he is. He's just some random guy who pulled you off a bus and is kidnapping you. Um. So you think Pagan Min is the bad guy. Which is why you joined the Golden Path, because they save you. But you think that they're the good guys so the whole time throughout the campaign you are helping the golden path you're helping the wrong people and i just want to say this real quick as you guys just saw i did try and apparently jump a elephant off a cliff and died don't know why i tried to do that but so yeah uh so, when you're helping the Golden Path, you're really helping the wrong cause. In the end of the game, if you choose Sabal and you kill Amida, you'll find him slaughtering innocent people at the Jalundai Temple. If you choose Amida and you kill Sabal, you'll find her forcing kids to join the Golden Path as if she was taking them into slavery. She's basically just taking them away from their parents, forcefully. Um, so basically, what this shows you is that you were fighting for the wrong cause this whole time. Now this all could have been changed and none of this could have happened if Iswari told you about Pagan Min, the Golden Path, and Kura. So, that's basically the whole story is that it's kind of your mother's fault that she never told you anything. I mean, I get like what she thought would happen when she had you come back to Kurat is that you would destroy the Golden Path and you would bring Kurat back on its feet with Pagan Min because she loved Pagan Min and she did not want the Golden Path because Mohan Gale created the Golden Path to basically f as like a revenge against Lakshmana and I mean against Ishwari so that's basically it. If you guys have anything else to say about Far Cry 4's campaign, please do tell me. Um, I'm pretty sure that I got some part of it wrong, at least. So yeah, here's my opinion on the Far Cry 4 story compared to the Far Cry 3 story. In Far Cry 3, the story isn't as in-depth, I guess, as Far Cry 4. Like, personally, I loved, and I mean I loved the Far Cry 3 story, but at first, I hated the Far Cry 4 story because it was just boring. But then I took it in and I really understood it, and that's when I like that's when I really got it. And the only way to truly understand Far Cry 4 story is if you take it all in and you really see the big picture. Because if you don't see the whole thing, then it's just a big pile of crap. And if you go into Pagan's uh, the Royal Palace, you will find a note from Ishwar on the wall. Uh, as like a love letter to Pagan Min, and this is proving the fact that she had an affair 
with pagan men. So basically, that's all I, I have for this video. Um, it wasn't going to be a long, long video, but yeah. So if you guys have anything else to say, please say so in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.